Hey there, it's Anna. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to take you along with a couple of my seedling chores. So a bunch of the seedlings that I started in January are ready to be potted up. So I'm gonna get them into some bigger containers. And then I also wanna make a plan for hardening them off in my unheated greenhouse. And I'll talk you through that whole process. We're having a super warm day today. It's actually 63 Fahrenheit, which is abnormally warm, but the weather is starting to turn. And so these um, annuals, there's some hardy perennials here, these herbs, they all can tolerate a little bit of cooler temperatures. And so I think, think that the unheated greenhouse is going to be perfect um, for hardening them off. So let me show you what we're working with. So here are the seedlings. I've got a bunch of these really happy looking snapdragons. I need to also um, trim them. Then some parsley, there's coreopsis, a plains coreopsis and a white coreopsis. I've got some pansies, there are some parsley, a couple of kinds of oregano. Here are my little eucalyptus, which are looking so good. Um, but I definitely think I'm gonna at least bump up this lemon gum. I kind of made myself like a little cheat sheet here <laughs> of what all is planted so that I would know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get these ready to be potted up. So I'm actually going to plant into cups. When I very first started, is over there, she's with me today. When I very first started with seedlings, I planted into cups from the beginning. And I kind of got away from it because I felt like, you know, I should use plug trays, I should use different things. And now I'm coming back to cups. I like them because you can throw them out at the end of the season. You do not need to keep them. You can write on the side of them, which is really nice. They're just simple, easy, affordable. I just grab them at the grocery store. Um, and yeah, they're a little, I know I've got so many cups. They're a little squirrely, like easy to fall over if you knock the container. So you do have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, but I find that if I just put them like in a tray and smush them all together, then I don't have as much of an issue with them, um, falling over with the seeds, but they're just, yeah really simple and easy. So that's what I'm gonna plant into um, for these guys. I've got this um, bucket of seed starting mix that I'm gonna plant into. I don't actually have any potting soil or else I would use that, um, but I just put a little water in it and I'm just gonna stir it around just to pre-moisten it so that, you know, when I plant into it with the, um, the seedlings, it'll be, you know, in good shape and ready to go. I really should take the tag <laughs> off my rake but I find that the rake is just the easiest thing to mix all the soil. And I'll just keep adding water until it's nice and moist. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a few cups and then I just have a knife. I'm very carefully I'm just gonna poke down through and make like a line and then another one just to make an X. And that'll be my drainage for these. And then I'm just going to pot into each one of these cups and label the outside with what it is so that I know. Um, and just, I just use a Sharpie right on the side. I've never had a problem with that coming off or anything, um, even for, you know, weeks and weeks of seed starting and even like taking them up inside, outside. They really do pretty well. The nice thing about a plug tray like this is that you can pop it out from the bottom and hopefully get your whole little seedling. And then put it right down in the cup. So it may lose, you know, a few little roots. I think I probably pulled off a couple roots there. And honestly, this really tall one is looking kind of floppy, but I'm not too worried. Once I get it under the grow lights and water it again, it'll be just fine. And of course, I'm going to make a huge mess. I should probably <laughs> label all these cups before I do this, but that's okay.
So I'm gonna keep repotting all of these and I'm gonna put them in a tray like this so that I can easily move them in and out of the greenhouse. And that's the plan. So I'm gonna kind of just keep track of the long-term forecast. What I like to do with the unheated greenhouse is take advantage of the protection as much as I can, knowing that it's unheated so at night it could get cold. If it gets down into like the 20s at night, it's gonna be in the 20s in that greenhouse most likely. And that's a bit too cold for these plants. But we have a lot of nights coming up and days that are gonna be in the 40s, 50s, nights in the 40s, nights in the 30s. This is all Fahrenheit. Um, and so if I get these plants started out in the greenhouse on like, if there's a couple days where it's gonna be in the 50s during the day, maybe in the 40s at night, you know, they can start adjusting to those temperatures and I'll bring them out outside on the days when it's in the 50s and then ease them into the 40s at night and just kind of move them in and out depending on what the weather is looking like until hopefully my goal is that by like mid-March, so in a month, even if the nights are getting down into like the mid 30s, so still above freezing, um, but close to freezing, they'll be okay. Because all of these plants should be able to tolerate um, a bit of a chill. The eucalyptus will have to stay inside, but the um, violas that I have here, uh, the oreganos, these coreopsis, they should all be okay with those like kind of cooler temperatures. And I'm just gonna watch the weather and just kind of adjust. If you wanna know more about that, I'll definitely be showing all about this um, on my Instagram, like on my Instagram stories, I talk a lot about what I'm doing. But that's sort of just the plan. Hey there, it is a couple days later. I'm out in the greenhouse and I have all of the little seedlings potted up and out here. So um, these are some of the snapdragons and the herbs. And then over here, I have um, the coreopsis and the parsley and all of that. So I am going to put these out here today. The last few days it's been cold. And so I kept these just undergrow lights inside. Today is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Here in the greenhouse, it is 70 degrees. So that's perfect for them. That's what it has been maybe even warmer than being inside. Um, so that will be great. Tonight, the low is 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, so I will just close these windows probably, um, like the windows to the greenhouse probably right around sunset, just before sunset, maybe at like 3.30 or 4 um, in the afternoon to try to trap as much heat. But even with that 50 degree low, um, I think these will be perfectly fine. I'm not too worried about it. So the next couple days it'll be warm. Um, they'll stay out here and then I'll just kind of do the dance, moving them in and out if we have any really cold nights. But I think it's going to work really well. And I, I feel like they're already happier now that they're in bigger pots and they are out here in the greenhouse, just kind of living their best little life. Um, I did uh, trim the snapdragons and you can see they're already sprouting some new growth, which is exciting to see. Um, so definitely follow along because I'll be planting these out in about a month or two here and I will keep you posted as all of this um, grows. Uh, but I so appreciate you watching. If you have one of these little greenhouses, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you're growing in it and how you're using it because these are really cool tools and there's a lot that you can do with them. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.